You want some lore? You're gonna get some lore. <laughs> yeah, no. That is such a good feature. Generic control in the Dr. Ghost movie. You're back with another Maxer video, and today we're doing his Doom Eternal review Alpha Male Gaming Amogus Edition. No idea what this title is supposed to be. I actually have played Doom Eternal. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I don't know if it's on this channel or not. I remember playing Doom 2016 and really enjoyed that one, and I really, really enjoyed Doom Eternal. The last Maxer video I did was Bloodborne, which you told me all about that and how it's only on PS4 and how it doesn't have PS5 port yet, and that's actually a really, really good game it's probably one of the best games that from software has made you can check my reaction to that video i'll leave it right up there also the link down below in the description and i really should make a maxer playlist on my channel i do enjoy every single maxer video i have ever seen and these are a little bit of his older videos his voice i don't know if this is going to be new enough that he's using the i guess the new maxer voice I'm not really sure. Shout out to the patrons. They get the videos a day early. And a lot of time on Payroll Channel could not do this if it was not for them. Like I said, I'm completely against paywalls. I read all your comments, whether you're a patron or not, whether you're subscribed or not. But I really hope that you are subscribed so you don't miss future videos. And I really wonder what he's going to say about Doom Eternal because the game was all about ripping and tearing through crowds of zombies. And I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it so, so much. So I look forward to reading your comments. Let me know what next Max or video should be. But let's go ahead and jump into his Doom Eternal review. Alright, and I also still have to do the Metal Gear ones. Oh, uh, well. I love Doom Eternal. That scene. Who is that? That's not Maxer, is it? Yeah, Doom Eternal. He's gonna go crazy with the music. Reviewed by Maxer, spoilers Doom ahead. Eternal is a game with so much testosterone dripping it's from the old voice. that it caused me to create a sun via mitosis. In this adventure, mm. you play as John Doom, a man stricken with irrationally severe because of his rabbit. does not consider or think through his actions and effects on other people. And nope. in his quest to save mankind, kills God, God God, and Satan God God, who is also himself, if this, in Wait, death and engaging it's himself? Hardcore, God, it's been, been a while since I played Doom Eternal. I got the game for you. This game is of course the sequel to the critically acclaimed Doom 2016 with a few Why key Sonic? differences. Alright then, buddy. I'm going to shit yourself. <laughs> You're gonna it meaningfully <laughs> extends and builds off of the gameplay and challenges that we love. Then challenges. extends them some more off of a fun until challenging. the product that emerges out the other side resembles crack concentrate. If you're watching this, I'm assuming you've probably played the game. I since have. I don't actually want weird to help me. people buy things. I'm here to entertain people, and if you're clamoring for entertainment and haven't purchased this game yet, do yourself a favor. And There's do enough it. male hormones here to transition someone, and I can guarantee <laughs> results <laughs> might come That's not true. Males. So whether you're oh, a no. like me or new to modern Doom games, come with I me am on this amazing relatively new to modern Doom, or just Doom in general. Nonsensically fucked up lore and I played Doom 2016 and Doom 3 hated it, and then I did Doom Eternal. Eternal. I think that's it. Yeah, no, it's a fun game. The one thing I really wish I is that they're more preserved. Gameplay is quite unique and not for the reasons that you would think. Are everything they called preserved, right? Is funneled directly the skulls, into a single, where you robust, punch everything. Multifaceted, multinational, and unilaterally combat system from which the entire game is built around. But Maxor, I hear you thinking, that's every game ever. Yes. Every good game ever. If I oh, what's a bad game? game 12 and booted up GTA 5, I would be able to do at least a dozen unfun activities. Doom's design it's is just a dozen. harder than the average Persona fan on his local playground. <laughs> and that <laughs> is special. Whoa. You will play the game in the way that is fun, or you will lose. So as good as 2016 was, a polygon you had to have a good time the first half, and that's unacceptable. Because yes, it is actually unfun to play games after having a lobotomy. In other games, I get to choose oh. between things like it, stealth, is that cyberpunk? outright combat. Bad. Yet Doom Eternal asks the question. All right, this was almost his cyberpunk video. Mechanic all the time without stopping. In a world where AAA studios try to pander to everyone, it's refreshing to have a game that sets out to do one thing the best and actually have developers and tear. give a shit about linear design and gameplay. And the main component of that gameplay is the arsenal, because John Doom uses every weapon throughout the game. The first shotgun is literally used in the last level, and the last level is used by the first shotgun. When you get an upgrade, the it shotgun isn't a replacement. Is... It's a genuine addition. To your arsenal. Every one of yeah, it's just like, oh yeah, and you get a new one. At all. 
they enhance. How do I kill an enemy? Well, shoot his hands off. Fire a rocket. Fire a ballista. Fire flames. Freeze him. Fire fire on his freeze and fro shotgun. Shotgun. Yep. And then you get armor. Just as important as how you kill is how you heal and how you restore. Fortunately, the aggression of this game and rivals the my dog in a kindergarten. Like real life, the only way to get ahead of the competition is to kill them. How do I, heal I and don't love? kill them? How do I get ammo back? Kill them uh, well, with a you know. Saw. In addition, most weapons in the game most? have two mods which What's not? change their behavior. Such stunning examples would be the microwave beam, the automatic shotgun, and the fucking destroyer blade. God, that's that, cool. But on that, yeah, no, that was probably my favorite. Mods and a declining mental state, we keep going. More than any one weapon, you'll be using your suit abilities, and they all have individual buttons. This is in addition to the I played on for weapons. Xbox, These would be so. things like zoom for fast, grenade for death, Swedish grenade for life, punch for no reason, and a flamethrower for armor. I play Invoker in Dota 2, and this shit makes me play my never keyboard Dota. a fucking Moonlight Sonata. I thoroughly Who? recommend playing PC and never using the weapon wheel for maximal riddle and uh, I had, you I had some issues fast, with the, uh, mode. was it Doom? It's fine, man. We're all busy. How about I give you two Doom 2016 with the weapons? Done. There's two ways to kill a demon in Doom Eternal. The fun way or the funny way. And to maximize the funniness level, we have the Crucible, which that is a direct scene went so hard. kill on every enemy. Giant area boss, dead. Previous yeah, no. area boss, That is dead. such a, a good feature. Boss. Fuck them. Now I hear you thinking, Wait, you can't Josh, actually do that, that sounds pretty strong. Oh Take boy. Buckle your ass. Josh? Because the second super weapon on my extensive list of two is the BFG. Is the BFG yep. Which canonically stands for big fucking gun. Also canonically, it fires a hole directly into the core of Mars. You can't just shoot a hole into the surface Yes, you can, Samuel. Now, I could kill an enemy the long way, or I could kill him <laughs> and his or faster than the ATF at Waco. It clears no. out everything you can see instantly. I am so thankful the game limits how many times you can do this. Now, Why? I understand that at first this may seem complicated, but that just isn't true because the entire game it's is effectively a kind tutorial of, for yeah. fun mode. And because you're always learning as you play, tutorial for fun stand, mode. it's so accurate. You to choose what stats and runes to upgrade. I spec entirely into mobility and ammo. I don't think I did. I just kind of was like, yeah, that sounds cool. Spider monkey. As a side note, we should release dozens or possibly hundreds of macaques into New York City. They can Why? survive there. Why does Thailand can they? have to keep all of the good monkeys? So what more is there to learn about Doom Eternal? Well, have you ever given thought to the various unwashed baboons that I'm fighting? The answer no. may shock you. Those are real. <laughs> As you may have guessed, there are at least three, perhaps Just four three? demons in the game, which oh. is a lot for someone who is Not a five, small, though. blonde anime lolly such as myself. But it's the variety of the demons that make the game interesting. Pinkies will forever be the baby. They can roll around like hedgehogs, contract obesity, and be bastards. Who is Sandy Loam? Who is Tsushima? Amy I... Rose? I didn't know she could stand. The point of the entire game, therefore, is to balance targets, switch weapons, and scream internally as you repeatedly fail to be cool. Just like high school. What I'm getting wow. at is okay, every that's a little accurate, but... different behavior and goals from one another. The Doom Hunter rolls around in a comically small And then you have to the fight like three of them at like once. Exist to die. And the Marauder no, those are ammo packs. He does a lot of damage, blocks your attack, Fights you at wild speeds and can only be attacked after blatantly signaling. So I personally have yeah, no literally with him does the green, the which fun green means go. And if you don't, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm saying you're bad. I'm not getting into the details for each one since that's not funny. But don't worry, there are 27 of them. Of course, 27. DLC. My favorite number is 27. Why so. I'm fighting the entire cast of Dante's Inferno. You're actually the minority. This game tries at every moment to make exposition collectible. Why is there just a, a fucking big spear in the planet? And why is heaven comprised entirely? of moth people you cannot it's stop fine. the procession that nah, he can't it feels like one guy wrote the events of the game and another guy invented lsd just to write the backstory so i'm going to combine both of them into a single accurate interpretation you want some lore you're gonna get some lore objectionable just pretend that it's right that was the first part oh more lore one Brazilian years ago, there was a guy named The Dad who was effectively God, and he made moths in lamp heaven called The Makers. Every 10,000 years, all moths yeah. combine their collective consciousness into one giga moth called The Con Maker, who is the moth pope. So the we moth heard that name so galaxy, many times. Sort of, until Earth happens, and then we start fucking everything up. The of course we do. The moth finds John Doom after a spree of murders, and he explains to her that yes, hell exists. It's weird that humans knew about hell before God. Anyways, the moth pope, after finding out that hell is real, very reasonably decides to 
to sacrifice a planet to it. See, it turns out that God literally pieced the fuck out like 10 million years ago and let the oh. moth do whatever they wanted. So now the, the moth cannot be replaced and cannot die. So she sort of goes insane from the constant immortality. Now the plan is to get some of that sweet hell energy by repeatedly sacrificing entire planets to the Dark Lord in exchange for it. Meanwhile, a sentient robot yeah, the fact that we Samuel use Hayden Mars is for like very energy. busy on Mars. Earth has this problem called climate change and we need to find a new energy source. So hey, instead yep. of something hard and difficult like solar power, Samuel Hayden is like, what if we extract this cool blue energy from hell? Also, Via Mars. Mars. Yeah. Earth does this until hell begins breaking into Mars and John Doom stops them, which is the plot of Doom 2016. This makes Samuel Hayden <laughs> mad because he's funded by the Koch brothers and really doesn't want to build a windmill. So instead of destroying the demonic crucible, he just brings it back to Earth and catapults John Doom into the backstory planet. If you think that Doesn't he get shot out of the BFG at one point? Blotting out the sun before building a fucking solar panel. I only poo -poo farted for the good of you. Who's the voice actor? Unsurprisingly, demons invade to recycle Earth into blue energy for the Moth Pope, so John Doom has to fight both Catholics and oh, there's hell. The and as critic. you go through the game, you might notice that it just brings up random shit at will. Like, oh, sorry, the Soul Factory is being held there by two gigantic titans, and it's like, okay, and they're just chilling. This attack on Titan is real now. Oh, Doom I just finished Slayer. it. You'll need it's this so knife good. to kill my son. Oh shit, what do he do? He's the giant uncontrollable demon titan. The plot of the main yep. game, to understate it, is psychotic. Dude, there's so many just moments of in Doom. Doom. That's just completed like fun. Just in this one game, John it's not Doom turn your brain off fun, like but it's three fun. Times. Goes Uncharted. To, to kill Santa. Fights Croatia. Not Santa. Does a little trolling. Does a little cockfighting. In a hole in a planet and call it trolling. Kills God, but we'll get back to that. Doom 2016 Fair. took place on Mars, but this game has you swing around the universe on a fucking bungee cord. Is so I understand universe? completely when people say they don't play Doom Eternal for the plot. They're just wrong. I play Doom Eternal for the plot, and that might sound strange to you, but Eternal's plot is is pure insanity and it does everything that it needs wasn't to. that the we dude that was like oh yeah you can't kill me you'll be punished because the environmental designer went fucking ballistic i just don't immediately care. i played every single level gleefully wondering oh boy what stupid shit is next i cannot fucking wait so play the game for the plot it is integral to the experience of doom eternal oh but max or there's a plot hole how did uh -huh. doom slayer get the first everything i've said so far except some of it applies in full partially to the base game but there's 40 dollar dues of dlc where the game really? Really? Faster, I don't know if I played the DLC or and not. Plot, somehow, even fucking worse in all the right departments. 2016 was a walk. <laughs> Eternal is Usain Bolt, and the ancient gods is fucking Venezuelan inflation. You thought which is insane, by the way. John beat the demons and destroyed all of heaven, but you were wrong. That's just the beginning. He doesn't even talk about the fact that it's all about the now. Fully out. My recommendation cannot be understated. Let's get into why, and more importantly, what? More importantly, what? The ancient gods is that the dlc yeah i this think ancient gods video is going to be is different it? far more structural and aligned with the plot of the dlc because yeah. the gameplay isn't what's new about the product it's the challenge and the story i originally wrote an entire script for this and then trashed it because it doesn't truly communicate how this dlc drove me to it i don't think i hard cope by simping for duty it. women i will tell you the, if there's a very about about change but the point of the dlc is more of what's amazing if you like doom eternal you will like the dlc Period. Hopefully. Okay, so Samuel Hayden, you might know him for his various appearances on political YouTube debates advocating for carbon positivity. It turns out that he's Why not does he a care? robot. He's a fucking angel. Also, huh? John Doom's Alexa is God. That's not a joke or exaggeration. Wait, huh? His name is Vega, and he's the physical remnant of God's consciousness in AI form. So Samuel, AI now a fucking God? divine being, wants you to revive him since both God uh, and Satan are trapped in volleyballs. At this <laughs> point, the video can count as spoilers because it makes no fucking sense. Oh, okay, that makes sense, yeah. essentially trolling. It because makes sense because it makes no God. sense. Why? Well, obviously to revive Satan exclusively so you can fight him. What could go wrong? Now, Everything could go wrong. Here on the gameplay side is the final boss, who is Samuel Hayden. Because, of holy shit, this fight is hard. Also, the premise is ridiculous, and my enjoyment of the game is hurt by neither. Every aspect of this is speed, oh, fun, you, and yeah. everything else I've already said about the game in general. And when you find and you get Samuel random zombies for Lord, ammo and it turns armor. Out he's you. Yeah. Oh. The only thing in the world that could possibly kill John Doom himself. I guess. No blood can be Was it Doom 2016 or Doom Eternal where he finally got like a kind of face reveal and everybody freaked out? 
So now the not you you decides to go to hell where we all belong, and the second DLC is just chasing him. This is of course where the testosterone moves into critical levels. How hey, does one get Cayman. to the capital city of hell? Well, that's a great question. Oh, Cleveland. All, go to the planet of Argentinur. Light the bat signal. Learn how to train your dragon. Oh yeah, there's dragons the in this. Spear I think it did a JT the music video for some reason. Get the key. That was about the DLC or use the DLC. Traverse the Last of Us 2 and find the gate of Dimuma. But before I get to the final showdown with Crash Bandicoot Twin Sanity, there's some cool gameplay I want to talk about. You uh. have a fucking hammer in this DLC. Primarily used to defy the laws of gravity, but secondarily gives you everything in the game. Health? No problem. It, Ammo? Absolutely. Yeah, My deepest, none of darkest urges? Yes. As I used this, Mess. I became more obsessed with hammers than Bob the fucking Builder. And <laughs> there's plenty of demons to use it on since the DLC has a shitload of reskins. For instance, the spirit Wait. is a congealed amphetamine mass that makes every infested target three times faster. Microsoft That's not Pinball, good. Who is fun Microsoft fight, Pinball. Promise, and the blood makers. They are my oh. original OC. Do not steal it. So now that we've reached uh, Cleveland, it's uh, time for the no. DLC to gain style. This is the culmination of all of our work. The final I, battle against Satan himself. And holy shit, you can feel it. When the it's... Sentinel army shows up and everyone's ready to kick ass, you just can't help but feel like your dick is being tickled. Cleveland oh, lives that's... up to the hype too. Lovely. Once because it's a non-stop battle of epic proportions right up until the final boss. This is a universe which implicitly acknowledges your godlike power by making the only credible threat to you your identical twin with red eyes in a gun. What is this? That is called uh, fucking gameplay. What is an ultra kill? <laughs> right up until when you have to fight V2? Awkwardly waddles around the arena like a penguin, but that's fine. The fight is still cool. The kill animation has to go crazy. Wow, you know, it's so sad that Steve Jobs died of Ligma. Who the hell is Steve Jobs? Ligma balls. <laughs> That's... Oh. Now, oh, before did we he? Fenestrate, there's a few details. I what does that word? Truly complete this game. Make it a real 10 out of good. The first game, 10 out of classify good? the music of this game as metal without guitars, and I fucking dig it so much. Yeah, no, it How is do you good. make metal it without a slap. guitar? Well, you sample Mongolian throat singing and your lawnmower. Hey, why is it a flying lawnmower? It just sounds so good. Normally, music isn't very important, but it's so good it that is. it becomes important. And the role it plays in setting your mood is vital. Also, yeah, I mean, the main composer what that like main like song? Singing, watches virtual YouTubers every waking second of his day. Great minds think he watch like, VTubers? Fact, most of the music in this video is just Doom Eternal soundtrack. Guess you'll have to re-watch it over and over again to really listen. Oh. It's so good. But the thing is, it's not even like Max is really doing his normal not like, the, oh, uh... Wow, look at all these particles I'm stroking out, way. It's more like, how does... Uh, uh, montage of crazy music the and cuts. In the game. It is unreal. It is so downright inspired that it makes you feel bad while playing it. Doom Eternal is such a fast and pulse-pounding game that it's like sprinting through the fucking Louvre. How am I supposed uh, to appreciate the that's world? That's what the Louvre looks like on the inside? Like okay. Should you buy the game? Yes, yes, I am very biased. If speed and action is what you crave and you want to induce cardiac arrest early, this yeah. is your game. I would like to thank the Demonic Brotherhood funding this channel in exchange for their souls if you would like to yeah, engage in critic. blood sacrifice on my behalf that was one of his adderings to learn more thank you all for watching and of course run they're coming who's coming maxer knocks it out of the park now this is kind of like he's getting warmed up this is kind of like the bloodborne video where he has like his normal voice but that had the montage but this had like the fast pacing kind of cuts faster than bloodborne i would imagine but it's more like his new stuff, which Maxer is out just absolutely insane. I don't know when the next video is going to be. He doesn't upload all that often. Understandably so, because he is a completely sentient, sentient uh, editing software, as we all know. But I look forward to the next episode that Maxer comes out with. Let me know what the next one should be down below in the comment section. Like I said, it was almost a cyberpunk video, as I don't know anything about cyberpunk. I The, the Metal Gear videos, I still haven't played Metal Gear. I plan on uh, streaming at some point. There's cyberpunk and... There's a whole bunch of other videos still, like older Maxer videos that I still need to watch and react to. And I look forward to watching those and I hope to see you there. So I hope you're subscribed to some of his future videos. I look forward to reading your comments. But until next video, take care and keep the music. We were playing asshole.